blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i'd like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Precious, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.
For the rest of his life, when he finally gets married, his wife and children will never suffer. Through that small instrument. If he put his eyes on it. The flute boy that I was saying just now. If he really gives himself training in playing that instrument. And finally arrange for people like us and the rest who are professional musicians in action. But other training. I, I, come on, sir. Maybe they are not. They just think you play guitar. And that is your life. Is graduating end of this year. Is a special optometrist, an ophthalmologist, who sees to the eye. He can pull eye out and put it on the table, repair it and put it back. <laughs> He's playing guitar. You are calling him guitar boy here. That's how you'll be watching him playing that instrument to worship God satisfactorily, yet pursuing his training to make a living. When you are in a church where your pastor is a dundee, all he will train you to do is to clap and sing and pray. But when you are with somebody with, like me with sound mind, <laughs> an excellent spirit, and another spirit, I tell you that unless you diversify yourself, you'll be entrapped. Each one of us is giving brain with millions of cells inside. Yes. And it is said that no one single human being is able to tap to 10% of the totality of the wisdom of God given to everyone. I'm not sure I've tapped that 5% of all mine. Yet, never mind about light, I told you how to cast out darkness is by buying diesel. Now, if you are in the church and all you come here to do They will rush your cassette. At hundred naira, if you if you make one thousand tapes, at hundred naira, how, how many people know what that one will be? One hundred thousand. If you make two thousand tapes at hundred naira, you make two hundred thousand, and it will not be enough to sell in five meetings. Money is just around you. But your cells are captured in redundancy. And you are praying. Our Father. Yeah. God is hearing, but your brain is not responding. And until your brain bow to your dullness. I mean, your dullness bow to your brilliance. You continue to struggle as if your prayer is not answered. I'm here with you. I am not envious of your success. I'm not jealous of your upward life. But you have yourself to blame. If of all I teach, you end up in bankruptcy. Not because God didn't favor you or I didn't teach you truth. It's just that your IQ was zero outside zero. And from tonight, you are to be anointed for the spirit of excellence and wisdom. Amen. So that what God says will come to pass. Amen. These ones who say, the what are you studying? Come here. And Victor, you understand that I give you one month to produce your own album. One month. Not, I will sponsor the cost of it. What are you reading? 
English major. English major, final year. The people you see here singing and don't allow her to give anybody microphone if it's not promising God's future. Not one. If you cannot go to school because you can't go to school because of money, I sponsor you. Most of them are all on scholarship. To graduate and have a better future, the tie this one will be paid very soon, and this one will be more than the school fees I'm paying for them now. I'm showing ahead of time. I'm not a fool, I'm showing I know what I'm doing. Do you hear me? But this is the time they need help. You are hearing what I'm saying? I'm planting. Give me the basket I brought there. What's the good? I'm sowing the seed. I hope you are following my message. All right. Out of this corn, one, what will you call this in uh, Dr. Corn cup. If you take this and clear a properly nourished ground, you can harvest three basket full both basins and bowls of fresh corn in four months out of this one. Are you hearing me? Every farmer that takes a corn like this and blesses and go to farm, cut the grass, till the ground, give it little fertilizer. Of course, you know that the corn of this day don't suffer like the corn of those days. The corn you plant nowadays, you can tell when this can be eaten. In those days, corn that you have to wait to until Opobobo before you think corn is going to come out. These days, in America now, there's a new method of corn. Must not be more than three feet. And each is allowed. I mean, each of them can bring at least Four like this, each one, three feet, two on this side, two on this side, full, all nourishing. In Bene Parable, it was said of Kakweriako, go and find out, agriculture has changed it. You can plant it now and eat it. All those Dundigaku teachings, you inherited traditionally and by tribalistic uh, uh, effort, you have to bury them to enter Christianity in reality. Out of this basket of from this one orange, this one, if the seeds here are taken out, dried, and planted, three years from now, and of course this is a special orange from Israel, is 15 months to start to produce. One year and three months. You can start to harvest it. It's in my compound, it's plenty there. This afternoon I was telling the children that came to visit me, corn is in this compound, coconut is in this compound, papua is in this compound, mango is in this compound. Every fruit you can think of, only few out of season will buy. All other ones are within my compound. Creativity with great objectivity can, de 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 can, de can detach you from poverty list. Share the, uh, share the uh, orange with your people and return the count over there. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. of you are glad to be children of God. Amen. Open your mouth and say, ah. ah. Proverbs 3 verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Let me tell you my interpretation of understanding. After I come here. Uh, where's my little pastor? Come. Stand there. 
Come on. Pastor, come for you. Otherwise known as Mr. Prince. This one, house, yes or no? Yes. But where is he now? Standing. Is he standing or sitting down? Standing. He's on that, but he's standing. <laughs> put your hand here. But I put your hand on top of my own. Is he below our hand? Is he lying down? Even though it's harder, what is he doing? <laughs> One day, you will discover, no matter how low you are, if your face stands, your mind will never bow. Get understanding. Get wisdom. That's what the Bible is encouraging you tonight. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. Did you hear that? Wisdom provides you quicker result than luxury and plan wealth. That's what he's saying here. Men who don't know the God they serve try luxury. The district governor of Michigan State was holding seminar with all the counselors of the state. Two months ago. And he gave them a breakdown of every lottery that had been encouraged to come to the state of Michigan. He proved to all of them, and pastors were there, like Gilbert and his dear wife, Bishop Coletta, who gave me this report. That until they make 30 million, nobody wins 1 million. So, for every 10 million, that they give as big price times 30, 300 million before they give 10 million. So if you are playing lottery, only one smile while the rest cry. But if all of us apply wisdom, all of us can smile together. Look at verse 13 and 14 again. Happy is the man. Say, I will be happy. Amen. Say it again. Amen. Oh, you know what happiness brings? It brings happiness. Yes. Daily happiness. Yes. Gives happiness. When you look at your health, healthy, look at your life, effectively successful, you are happy. Nobody tell, no programmer will say, gee, See, come on, try, try, only for one minute, all right? Chee, 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 uh -huh. oh, oh, it's too wide, close it a bit. Photographer does not dictate the content of your heart. And when there's contentment, there's no controversy. Happy, happy, hilarious, successful, Joyful is a man who findeth wisdom. And the good news is that you don't search too much. The Bible says it is God's will to give all of us wisdom. Do you hear me? Hear this. And the man that getteth understanding for the make for the merchandise of it. In English and Rudanet, to be a merchandise will mean what? Trading on something. Trading on something. A man that has wisdom can make many businesses out of it. That's what he says. The lucrativeness. That's what the Bible says here. The after all profit of the gift of wisdom. He says better than Goldsmith's own. Look at it. And it's more than the one who sells silver. Because 
you can crawl from one aspect to the other. Go to my office and talk to Erosa. Tell him to bring the files of the letters that come into this country. Every wealthy aspect of this country, banking, medicine, law, everything, when they have anything special to do, my name is one of the first in the list. They want to see me. It's the same Bible you are carrying that I'm carrying, but unless I open my own. Some of you, like that one that, did, that didn't bring his loot to church now. Can you imagine if we were to hear that? That he came to church, didn't bring the food. He will not be angry because he gave it to him. He will not be angry that he was given to him for use. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.
decisive too. You ignore me, you ignore success. The career that I choose is not a cost to my life. I did my best with it to put God's name in Walmart. You cannot take excuse because you are a Christian. That's why you don't take bribe. That's why bribe will bridge your future or relegate you. But clear wisdom can improve your loss. Is anybody hearing me? May I ask you all to combine together and read me verse 14. Proverbs 3.14, read it very loud. One to go. Did you hear? And the gate inside is more than fine gold. And you walk less than the blacksmith knocking his hand. And the goldsmith and the silver smith, you won't bring on him that gate. Verse 15. She's more precious than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Somebody should say big amen. amen. Anything else that is effortful in life to be fruitful cannot be compared with the gift of wisdom. The Bible says the principal thing. Each of us needs it. Verse 16. Let your days is in her right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. Get up and say, God, give me this thing I'm asking now. Oh, On my left and right. Oh, you see, on your right is long life. Amen. And on your left hand is what? Riches and honor. Do you hear me? Yes. It's there. Bishop Reed was here in June. How many of you were aware? And in the convention, one of the evening, I asked all of you to thank him for me publicly because he made an announcement that he was going home to go and buy me a car. That's the car that I'm right. Paid to be delivered to my house. Nobody will ask you to meet me in England and I buy a car and ship it to your house. Come and choose your own if you are a Dundee. That's why the Bible says, by the mouth of Christ, to him that has much shall be given to him. And the little that the poor man has shall be taken and added. <laughs> Do you hear me? You are in a school here. You are in a school. Oh, yeah, but we stand and tell everybody everywhere in the world. My teacher is Archbishop. Well, look, as with them voices, anywhere we are going in this country, any successful minister traces his or her life to me, to the day they came in contact with me. Anybody know? You praise till we are there when oh, yeah, oh, oh, well, okay, said, for eight years he was living in bankruptcy until I came in contact. And I removed him out of that. How much more you by my nose and eye? Pursue, obtain all these degrees. Great. 
by the junction. So court now I say, don't be proof. That they used to jab him straight out. Because there's no case. You slap me on the left, I turn right, and I say, don't be I follow you. It's when I tear your shirt, you tear my own. Then we go and tell police. Police is the one who brought the biggest pride as the plaintiff. You understand his name? Many plaintiffs are smart people. Plaintiffs. They are smart people. Thank you very much. What I'm calling the accused, which is called the defendant. The grace in my life will exceed that of the God. I'm here to say to you. You are near to the road where you cannot fail anymore. Amen. And you are there. The two people I asked to prepare their song now with the backing of the choir. Every day they say 50% will be my own. Amen. I mean, what you say I got you to do. I didn't say you can. I already know what I can make out of that. All the six, I was, you know me, why anointing? 50% for you, 50% for me. How many of you agree I should do that? Each of you can buy a car in less than three months if you can do what I say. Wisdom, say that to everybody. It's a principal thing. I gave you illustration here some time ago. Influential man, intelligent man, and financial. This one knows everybody in town. Wisdom of business. Influential, no cash. Cash, no wisdom. Put your wisdom, take your wisdom, put your his influence. I give an associates. Praise the Lord through Christ. Yes. For some hours yesterday on our university, 90% of people who supply granite and sand to CFU are unbelievers. Three years ago, one person supplied us a block of 16 million. 16 million a year for block. Unbeliever with you. It's just the way. It's a baba baba baba. It's a baba baba baba. Oh, what do you know? It's a boy. Okay. Unbelievers. Son, the lady who taught me standard three came to ask for 50 trips of sand. And I said, What, what will sand profit you? He said, If I supply 50 trips of sand, I'll make 200 by trip. Times it. In you in the market, some beat you from money to night again. What is supply sand? They come to me, they say, I want to supply sand, but give me money to do it. Mm -hmm. I can owe unbeliever for a month before I, for Christian will ask me money to do it. How will I give it to you who is asking me money to do it? When the unbeliever is borrowing me. You see the mathematics? Mr. Wisdom and Rich and Influential. Wisdom. Verse 18. She's a tree of life. Then that lay hold upon her, and had the one that regenerated her. Some had found it by understanding the standards. Somebody that anoint you and continue with bad tomorrow. But to tomorrow. How many women are here tonight who were the anointing today? Stand to your feet. Mama said, I should tell you from where she is. She's with you. Amen. She has told me to join you in this service tomorrow. Amen. I will be there. Amen. I said, I will be there with you. Something different will happen in your life this year. You will be. Any name you were called ugly, the same people that talk on your behalf. It's your year. Pastors, lift your head up. Lift church on earth. Because this is not all of us. We need to finish.
by. Let me tell you, I will have finished. I have part two of what I taught you today to teach you again tomorrow. Then you'll be anointed also. Take your seat. It's your year of goodness and mercy. Yeah. I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about Anointed Tube. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com.
Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Bring it. 
is teached that time. He came with the pastor and the rest of them, treated me. I came to church, one lost sleep, coat, big one, put with it. I got to use my right hand for illustration. You know the Lord would really do it for you. He said, this one until he recovered. He told me, don't overuse it. I said, yes, I hear you. You know? I didn't cry. I didn't ask for prayer and fasting. I asked for a doctor who knew what to be done. One inch deep, stitch 11 places. In less than one week, the bandage were removed. So he gave me the real hard one. Sugar, not they kill malaria. When you have malaria, look for the medicine that is bitter. Then when malaria tests you, they will leave your body. Grab queen. Nipper queen. Any of those queens. They kill the pain. You wait to suffer with the rock. But you will get there. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Verse 10. Receive it. Verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. Verse 12. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. You didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Come and read the letter we got from NUC, Nigerian University Commission, National University Commission. Your heart will be glad. But while they are doing their part, we are playing our role. Thank God our degree courses are starting. Amen. Thank God our diploma courses are starting. Amen. Thank God from kindergarten now you can go to university. Amen. With the invention. And what is the good news? I have been away two and a half weeks. Dr. Fessler has been away three days. Was the school closed when you traveled? They did nearly 4,000 students go on holiday because you travel. Do they ever go to holiday because I'm traveling? Anybody know what of it that I'm traveling? Except those who are in the house. I greet them before I go and I greet them when I come. All the rest. Some say that did I was something. In December, what of it? I don't know every student here, but every student knows me. Are you hearing me? Be faithful. Be faithful. Start something that may be small today. Every small seed has great harvest behind it. Every small seed. There's a big harvest. That's what I'm teaching you this time. There's a big harvest. Oh, for every mango tree, there are millions of mango fruits. For every orange tree, there are millions of orange juice inside. Tons of them. But if you just leave it and do nothing. I told uh, one of our pastors from Benin to my uncle's house at the market where I planted orange in 1952. When day three years ago, the orange is still standing. I said, very good. What's that fire? Freeze windows. Students, all nations. Russia, I love you, I told you to. Eh? Here now. All nation rush inside the place, ushers. Church also. We should always be locking this thing. Father, we ask that the tempest cease. And we thank you for it. We be over this. In Jesus' name. Amen. We need rain, I hope you know that. I say we need rain, I hope you know that. We can't find rain, but we are just saying no destruction to property. Alright, one verse so we can. Are you being blessed by what you are hearing? Will you still put your head in the fridge? Thank you. Verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. 
Somebody say amen. amen. So nobody tell you don't smoke, don't drink. If you fear God, automatically you hate evil. Pride and arrogance, an evil way, and a forward mouth do I hate. I will explain that next time. Cancel is mine, and sound wisdom. I'm understanding and I have strength. By me, kings reign, and princes decree, and by me, prince rule, and nobles, even all the judges. Somebody shout hallelujah. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I live in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the path of judgment. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say praise God. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet. I see men and women in this unusual year of unusual miracle. God will not only really meet you at the point of your need, but will meet you ahead of schedule. Amen. Put your right hand on your forehead. I say, put your right hand. Forget any other thing, sister. Forget about the wind. Forget about the rain. Focus your life here. Open your mouth and bless your destiny. You have a part to play. It is God's will for you to prosper and be thankful. And also be venturing. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.
Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idahosa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Idahosa is a man that believe with God all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son will see a father who he trusts that is faithful. Whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was a Dowser's level of faith beyond mass uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual a person, yet he was so human in nature. A man who reached out to everyone, the high and the low in society man who rubs shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. It, it's a blessing and it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idaosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyudepo. I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And uh, Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's chief, Igbenidion had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told me, in the preach, they said, this is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. This must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edipo came to Church of God Mission, Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached. It was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting, uh, moving on from one project to another and often when he started a new project, we whites, we Oibos would say, why is he doing that? We couldn't see the vision at all. We thought, hmm, this is very funny. But then sometime later we would realize, Yes, okay, I see why he's done that now. And I was a Muslim that I gave my life to Christ. In Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that were the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop my first time of meeting the Archbishop Indahosa of Church of God Mission International. It was an awesome privilege. It was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Onicha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, and God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the 
uh, advanced team to go and paste posters all over Odisha. And we went to put posters all over Odisha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform and, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. And we stood there and the whole crusade was an eye-opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come. So uh, we went to Nigeria to begin uh, my class. Actually, I went there in 79. My class started in 1980. And uh, we went through the Bible training, and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools. He started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex. He started Benson Hose University, all those. And, well, he's... He's a man we can't, we can't forget. He was a great example to us, and I thank God. It's particularly good for us, whites, British, because in Britain, uh, people are rather skeptical these days. You'll not find many people who are really born again Christians. Um, people of faith are few in Britain, but if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, we traveled to Washington for Jesus. John Geminis went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a curtain, because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are, and it's really cats and dogs. What do you want us to do? And when I looked through the wood, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would lose, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Archbishop Idaosa. We said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft. He lifted his hand. I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me and you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back up. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minister and the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we, were the, we have lost our way. We would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos. It was still raining. 
Now, this is where the testimony is. Mama, if that's us, then you can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid, can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? <laughs> I was scared. I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold-plated aircraft. Chief Benedion, he called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar, and we went by air to Benin. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here. There won't be any such meeting. The chief priest then was summoned. His name, Chief Ebohon, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God, could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, Yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one on one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believe in venturing where others fear to venture. He was a trailblazer. I remember those days, for example, this television ministry that's becoming anything today. It also started it in 1974, 75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign, wonder, anointing, and his boldness. I was. I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Serrillo in 2010, and just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, "Oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors." It happens in the third world. Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me their sticks and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits, and I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take up the spirit that is upon you, and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took of that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop in the Hosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. In the Hosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, in the Hosa lives.
Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle with some trucks going from street to street, and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And one of these days, he was riding past, and people were crying in my house. What's up? <laughs> And he just stopped, brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, waded through the crowd. And he came and I said, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. <laughs> and he said, Ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. See, this time it was about four o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I say, he, please, I beg you, don't, don't make a mockery of your God. He said, no, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that, uh, uh, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent, to tread upon scorpions and to raise the dead. And I said, listen, don't make a mockery of yourself. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal that sick. Raise the dead. I said what? I beg what did I talk? Benson, you mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? What you say I can do it? Yes. In the name of Jesus. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was she. She was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, "Listen, this baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The fa why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate." And he said, oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, how? How are you going to do it? And he said, okay, go out if you don't want to see, see me do it. But, uh, you know, as a stubborn child, then I stood at the, I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Early in the morning when I rise. Child. Be healed. I will bring to you an offering. After he prayed, he asked me, What is the name of the child? What is the girl's name? I said, It's Inwarata. 
I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world know about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, conversion hold me. So I, I, I died. When I died, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. About two hours, a bit three hours later, my father come, my late Ben Sinidahosa. He said, what is happening? He told him that her daughter, her daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the, in the ordinary native daughter tried, they can't raise her back to life. He said, where is her now? He said, she's swallowing there. He said, he asked my father the question. He said, daddy, do you believe that the God I serve can raise him, come back to life? My father said, yes. He said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where they, they lie me down. So carry me, they were praying with some of members. As they pray with God that answered by fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living so today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up! I was just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about 9 o'clock sneezed. Another day died to me after a year and three months in the womb. So my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Then he said, maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be thy glory. When they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Do you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. <laughs> with him to the mother. He said, please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, what is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power. Super power. Then I wasn't a child of God. My mother used to serve, um, she was a princess of Olokun, Shango, and all that. And I said, mm, the, the, the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graven images that has no power. So the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, 
let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer. But I just knelt and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayer, there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? He said, the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I didn't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. He said, ah, you have done it. And I knelt down, he prayed, and I, and I said the, the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father Benson Dalsa is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, there was wonder, there was, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today I'm alive. I have about eight children, two guests, and two boys and six guests. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about 10 grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, 
prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preacher's pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. And I would like you to know that he was also my spiritual father please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people let this video go viral remain blessed hello this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa his early Christian ministry testimony as a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard searching, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. The corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938. To a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on a farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. 
He later took correspondence course from Britain and the United States while working in Bathershoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young, Benson, young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akbar's small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a ninth vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following, said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. He prayed through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing, more people confess Christ as their Savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastored churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he, also, he, he was also president of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, president of Idaosa World Outreach, and president of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of, Bish of Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Oyarobot uh, University in Oklahoma. It also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971, a doctorate of divinity in 1981, from the World Faith College, New Orleans, and a Doctor of Law degree from Ora Robert University in March 1984. He also received another degree, he also received other degrees from the International University in Brussels, Belgium. Archbishop Benson and his wife, Margaret Idaosa, were blessed with four children. Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was in Daosa primary consign with a motto evangelism our supreme tax. He worked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries all 123 countries all over the world. Crusade played a major role in his ministry. He was involved at least one crusade per month. A record crowd of nearly one million people a night attended his Lagos crusade in April 1985. He established the Redemption Television Ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people. What leading gospel minister said about Archbishop Idaosa? According to Mrs. Gordon, Frada Lisser, President of Christ for the Nation Incorporated, Dallas, Texas, USA. I know of no young black in all Africa who is preaching, who is reaching million as Benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in, in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast, in his Bible school, training eager students from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, 
where he often appear on national religious telecast. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrates is a, a, a demonstrate he is especially called of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from, his, from this mighty leader of God's people, said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sit over 10,000 in 1981. His Bible school attract upper class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe, and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to African as well as to Americans. He believed that African has a part in God's work and African will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. It also rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion which ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people, both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors. And he applied the principles he learned, he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry. He was very energetic, hardworking. One of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Daosa. He was committed and consistent, and he had confidence in himself, he was very humble and full of godly wisdom. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was said to be the leader of over 7 million Jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the Lord in February 1998. Now I'm going to 
talk about his early ministry again as a youth he got converted to christianity by a certain pastor Paul, and joined his, the flagging congregation as one of the first members he was very active and converting many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establish, establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable qu quotes including my god is not a poor god your attitude determine your your attitude determines your altitude it is more risky not to take risk i am a possibilitarian a big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck if your faith says yes god cannot say no among others many of these messages on faith miracle and prosperity remain a classic among pentecostal he had strong links with international gospel ministers like billy graham tls bond kenneth Hagin, penny in Graham bonke maurice cerillo ora robert amongst others and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime at the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, World of Faith, Group of School. Bensi Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa. His wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the Church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video to bless all the people and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contacts get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.